So we're here at the Mikey Levine Memorial Center for uh, Lone Soldiers. First of all, who are defined as lone soldiers? People who their parents are, are abroad and they, they, they are not Israelis on, mission, on special missions. Uh, they, their kids, when they come to Israel, they are defined as lone soldiers. So what brings these uh, young uh, boys and girls to Israel, to the IDF? Zionism, feeling that they want to be part of the Israeli people, the solidarity with the people. Many of them are saying that their parents or grandparents used to send money to, to Israel. They are coming and they will stand arm in arm with the Israelis in protecting the, the borders. Now the army uh, recognizes these lone soldiers. Uh, there are many resources that they get from the army. Where do you come in? Where does the center come in? And uh, the, our center is built on the people who were lone soldiers, and they are helping new lone soldiers. This is a community of lone soldiers that absorbing all the time people who are newcomers, that uh, and they're assisting them in their social social activities, the feeling that they are not that they are not alone in in whatever they do. They want to be together. They they get together. They, they are coming in ceremony in cer during ceremonies, when when in the, uh, with the Israelis, the whole tribe is coming with every with a lot of food. So these people, these soldiers, these ex lone soldiers here, that are working or studying, are taking off their time, and they are and going to visit these soldiers that are now alone in the ceremony, or in their process with the army. And then, in order, to get in order so they won't be on, on their own. Now, this uh, center, as we said, is uh, in memory of uh, Mikey Levine, a lone soldier. But I understand that it's not just in memory of him, it's actually in light of his vision. Yeah, Mikey was the... I used to know Mikey uh, before the army and during the army. He was the first one that told me that lone soldiers need a place to, to get together. Mikey talked all the time about the, the need for, to have some kind of recreation center. I must admit that I did not understand what Mikey spoke about when he was alive. Only after he was killed, when I used to sit, to sit more and more with lone soldiers, I understand what Mikey used to say. I, uh, Mikey, Mikey had all kinds of um, sentences that uh, somehow, when he was alive, looked to me a bit of childish uh, uh, sentences. He had the, the sentence, uh, no pain, no gain. Um, and when I started with the center, and at, the moment, at a certain moment, a big donor of us looked as if he's not going to give us the, the funds, uh, I found myself going to <clears throat> Mikey's grave, and um, there I thought about the, about the no pain, no gain. I came to the office, started to reorganize things, and thank God today we are quite a, a big non-organization that is working with non-soldiers. The Israeli soldiers, the regular soldiers, they're shoulder to shoulder with uh, these lone soldiers. Uh, do they learn? Is there something that they learn and are inspired maybe by these soldiers who come on their own to Israel? I'm sure they are. Although in the beginning they're telling, they're telling the, 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 especially the Americans, are you coming here to be, to be part of the army? We are dying to get a visa to America and you're coming here? But at the end of the day, they are, they are honoring, they are respecting them, uh, they are looking after them, and you can see that uh, if in the, the first ceremony the, there is total difference between uh, the Israeli soldiers and the, and the newcomer, in the, in, the, in the ceremonies afterwards, the, uh, the, the Israelis that are living in Israel and the lone soldiers from abroad are really one people.